Maybe you shouldn't say kick all the time. It's the right verb to use. How about pass, like pass the ball? I tried that. He'll pick up the ball and hand it to you. Billy, go help Gloria. with a stupid retard anyway. He's not stupid. Oh, yeah. He was splashing me with paint the other day. It was an accident. Like when he broke the school window. That was an accident too, wasn't it? So is this. Oops. <laughs> <laughs> Gloria, swim! Gloria, what happened? Just hold on, we'll get some help. Gloria, uh, swim! No, Billy, Gloria is in trouble. We need to help Gloria. Huh? Help Gloria? Yes, go back. We need to get Charlie to help. Just hang on, Gloria. We're going to get your dad. We need to find someone closer. Get Miss Lemon Lime to help. Help Gloria? Yes, get Miss Lemon Lime to help Gloria. Go to her. Billy, go. <laughs> Miss Lemon Lime. Miss Lemon Lime. <laughs> Hello, Billy. How are you doing today? M Miss Lemon Lime, Gloria, friend. Yes, Billy. Gloria is your friend. Gloria, friend, help. Hmm? I don't understand, Billy. Oh, for goodness sake. Up here. What is... Gloria fell into the lake. She needs help. Help, Gloria, friend. <laughs> What is... Oh, my goodness! Gloria! I'm coming, dear! Uh, uh. I'm coming! I'm coming! <coughs> Can you kick your feet, Gloria? Kick towards me! <coughs> Hold on to me, dear! Gloria! <gasps> what happened? Mr. Baker! Come quickly! Help her, Billy! <laughs> Gloria Cupcake! Oh, thank you. It was Billy who got to me. Billy, help! Gloria, friend! And that thing on Billy's cap! Moose? Is that his name? It looks like one of your cupcakes! It talked, too! <laughs> I guess there's some explaining to do! Oh! There 
there are more of them? <gasps> what happened? I see. So they basically act like little guardians for Gloria, giving advice and such? They can't really do anything like what you did today. It does explain a few things, like that melee at the track. That little toy car was there. I'm sure they've learned their lesson. <laughs> I should be going before I catch a cold. Please, let me escort you. Uh, I have to take uh, Billy home as well. Uh, he lives at the end of the block. Huh? Billy, go home? Yes, Billy. Time to go home. Okay, Billy, go home now. I shan't be long, Cupcake. You can go upstairs and watch TV with your friends until I come back. Okay, Daddy. Okay, Mr. Baker. Sure thing, Mr. Baker. Thanks for the snacks, Mr. Baker. Please, allow me. <laughs> Whoops! Sorry. Entirely my fault. You're so sweet. Well, I made cakes, so I'm covered with sugar most days. Come along, Billy. Thank you, Billy. You're a great friend. <laughs> Gloria, friend. <laughs> Bye, Billy. See you at school. <laughs> Bye. Are you going to use your sugar pals for the food fair?
What's going on today? Where are the cops? Oh no, I'm late. Gotta hurry. like black winged figures but oh dear that looks like the mothership oh no and that was last night's footage at the ninth annual police awards dinner almost 90 percent of the police force hurt bringing law enforcement to its knees news flash this just in absent police force from the awards dinner attacked in great numbers oh no i've got to contact the professor and fast professor Professor, are you there? Professor Felino? Professor? Professor, are you there? Something is happening down here. Professor? One second, Alex! I'm almost there! Professor Felino? Professor? Whew! Righty ho! I'm here, young man! So, what is all the Kahafos problemo that's going on? Have you seen the news? This morning there are these black things around the police dinner. All the cops are gone or something. Yes, yes. We're already on top of it. I sent May out this morning to do a little field work at the celebration dinner grounds. She also managed to configure a few satellite images to identify what was happening. May? Who's May? We have deciphered a few of the images from the satellite and from the TV news reporter who was there to cover the police celebration dinner. I'm sending them to you now. Send to me? W what do you mean? An email? But... Ah! What's this? My eyes! My eyes! Relax, Alex. Concentrate on the images I'm sending. They are bats. Intelligent bats. Imagine such despicable things. They are intelligent because they only attacked the officers, and no one else. The small number of police that were in the city were also attacked. How particularly peculiar. Bats? Bats don't just attack people! Oh no, dear boy. These are bat bots. Bats what? You've seen them before? Bat bots? Oh no, I've never seen them. But that's what they are. Bat bots. Look, look! They may look normal, but wait! Look! Hmm, fascinating! They are made of an aluminum alloy. And there! Their ears are an intricate matrix of wires for extrasensory navigation. I'm thoroughly impressed. Very impressed. How did the bats know just to attack the police officers? May also performed a sonic sweep of the whole area. And it seems like there was an ultra-low sound wave that can only be heard by Batbots. That must be the reason why they attacked the police. But that means that they must have been battered, not bugged. Battered! <laughs> Get it? Battered, not bugged. Battered! <laughs>
Professor, who's behind all this, and why? Just a minute, Alex. Oh, May just sent something to me. Jolly madness! What is it, Professor? I think we've found out who's doing this. I'm transferring the information now. Stand by! Get a closer look. Is he checking his hair? I'm afraid so. Nothing worse than an evil fashion victim. Look, Professor. On his shoulder, it's a flower. The same as the ones on all the officers. Right, Alex. That must be how the bats are tracking and attacking the police officers all over Cat Town. Bats have an exceptional echolocator. An echo what? An echolocator. An internal sonar where a narrow beam is oscillated around the target's direction to maximize the echo return. The direction of the maximum echo return is the target's direction. Therefore, locating them entirely by sound. Uh... Okay. In brief, a sound radar. That's how the bats are finding the police. How can we stop this, Professor? Alex, I have an idea. We need a cage. A very big cage. Huh? To finish what we started yesterday, right? Cutie, wooty, looty, beauties. Then, when you do a good job, I will tie a nice little red bow for you on your little furry heads, okay? Yeah, okay. You will like that, I promise. You will all be the most beautiful flying thingies out there. We're going to take care of that mean, nasty little world out there, right? Yeah, <laughs> we will. Then after we take care of the police, we take care of Stryker. Just like the way Boss wants us to. Mm. Yes, we must be nice to Bossy Wossy. <laughs> Tonight, my friends, we shall eliminate the last few police officers that think they got away from last night's battle. Battle? <laughs> Did you all hear that, my love? Battle! <laughs> Yeah! 
Oh, my dears, well done, well done. Oh, darn, just one more. Go get them, my babies. There's a sale. I must stop by there later. I know, Professor. Have you seen anything like it before? What can it do? I don't know. But keep your wits about it. Right, Professor. Oh, my. Who are you? What do you want? Me? You don't know me? This great-looking, muscular me? I'll tell you who I am. I'm Mr. Rat Universe 2000, 2001, 2002, 2003, 2004, 2005. The ever-handsome, good-looking, the fairest and most beautiful rat alive the greatest rat alive and I am the bat general <laughs> I want you striker you're going down with this city what about mr. rat 2006 silence feline you shall pay for that insult I'll shatter cat town but why just leave us in peace too late, Striker. He commands so.
Where is that tacky cat? Ooh, I'm going to be late for my spa appointment. Striker. Oh, Striker. Mm. Professor. Professor. You there? Professor. Yes, yes. Are you okay? I've got an idea. Can you find some ultrasonic sound waves that will drive that big metal bat batty? I think I know what you're thinking of. Striker, Striker! Are you okay? You are hurt. Can I take a photo with you? My mom loves you. Thank you, I'm fine. But I need your help. Please open the windows and push all the speakers up front. Yeah, yeah! So, were you doing a little shopping bag? Here without you. Where do you think you're going? I've got to keep you alive, my dear, so don't worry. I've got it, Striker! I'm linked onto the store's speaker system. Now shut down your volume, here we go, and hang on to your ears! Let's rock and roll! but it wasn't that loud. Bats are guided by sound, and they use the sound waves to give them direction on where everything is. We just played around with his sense of direction, and that's how he destroyed himself. Wow, the power of music! Yes, the power of music. Good job, Striker! That's the way to use your head and your ears. Well, I now know to shut my sonar off. Now I've got to go to the pandemonium and retrieve a second bat bot. Striker won't be so lucky this time around. I think I'll even wear my lucky black bracelet. That's probably what went wrong. Hey! What's this? What a waste. I'm getting tired of all these failures. It's up to you too. Don't fail me or you'll regret it.
Bobcat Builder, can we fix it? Yes, we can. Okay, ready for take. Have a rolling. On in one, two, three. In the middle of Cat Town, everyone is chipping in. After extensive damage at major residential areas in the Catropolitan Core, cats are still optimistic and everyone is lending a helping hand. Mayor Claus has quickly commissioned this new statue in the middle of Cat Town Central as a symbol of our spirit to fight for our homes and our lives. This is Kitty Paws for Nine Lives News. Why do you play that garbage all the time? No! No! Stop! 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 Ah. Don't work too hard, sir. You're still not 100%. Are you okay? No problem. Are you okay? Man, those construction workers sure are cool, dude. With the heaps of damage, they got this place up and running real fast and running. Yeah, Eddie, we are pretty lucky. Really lucky, Eddie. Really lucky. I'm tired of this incompetence. But Mr. B, no, 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 please don't worry, my dear. I have a new design on how to destroy Striker. I've got a very pretty new plan that I have been working on. Think you'll also be very happy with the modified accessories. I have drafted for a new mecha. It is a beauty, dear. Really a beauty. I am giving you one last chance. And stop calling me dear. <laughs> Sorry, Mr. Bossy. I've got my beautiful black bracelet on now. So don't you worry. I will take care of that striker this time. My new bad bot is so hot! Gorgeous! Go! Happy green, chirpy yellow into sunny pink with sky blue. No, 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 no. 
happy green with sky blue, chirpy yellow with sad purple. Yes! Yes! That's it! Yes! Yes! Granddaddy! Careful! You know what happened last time. Yes, yes, sweetheart. Don't worry. I know what I'm... Oh! I told you so! Hmm. Now, now. That should not have happened. Have you seen what's happening in Cat Town? Yes, I have it up on monitor number 9. Great! They're doing great work there! I'm very proud of them! Yeah. What are you working on, May? Look here. Cat Town? Yep. See, see? These spots. These are where those big ugly metal heads attacked. Oh. Look here. This one, on the main road. Do you remember? You punched out the child metal head the first time, remember? Don't know when to call it quits, ya yeah boy! Give it to him again! <laughs> oh, that's the pangolin general! And this one! Remember this one near the music store? Me? You don't know me? This great looking muscular me? I'll tell you who I am. I'm Mr. Rat Universe 2000, 2001, 2002, 2003, 2004, 2005. The ever handsome, good looking. The fairest and most beautiful rat alive. Yes, that's the bat, the bat general. Yep, yep, again. The two kids, the candy ones with the bear. Oh! I like them. <laughs> and this is Crazy Rizzo's Orang Utan Monster! And this is the last battle with the shelled mechanical monster again! The Pangolin General! That was weird. Yeah, definitely weird. But what about these arrows? Why are you making this map for? The arrows are showing the possible direction that they could be coming from. I am trying to find out where they come from. See here? If I extend this line really far and connect this line to the other... Look here! When I extend the possible directions they could be coming from, one area seems to be common from all the monster machines. That's it! They're called mechas, my dear. Mechas. I just thought of it today. Quite catchy, I think. Yes, yes. Quite catchy. Whatever, Granddaddy. What is this area called? Wait, just hold on. There are only large fields there? No buildings or anything? This is Southeastern Industrial Grounds. But no one goes there. There is nothing there but scrap metal and junk. It's a big area. Hmm. Let me keep working on it. What? It can't be! Huh? What, what is it, May? Let me scramble the coordinates and the object. A large metallic object. It can't be another mecha, is it? 
Oh my, oh my! What's this? Not again! It's heading towards the Cat Town Central! Wait a minute! This is great! Great? You ate too many lollipops, didn't you? No, no, no! Look! It must have just appeared out of its base, and it looks like it's coming from an old metal warehouse. Ah, oh, great work, May! I gotta go! I can't let there be any more damage to Cat Town! Go get him, boy! Striker! I'll keep searching for the pandemonium's hideout big! Go get him, Striker! Is that Mecca? May? You there? May? Loud and clear, Striker. What's up? Check to see if the readings are correct. Nothing is happening here. <coughs> Ma'am, what's wrong? What's wrong? I'm in the sky! Not again! The bat? Da -da 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 what a nice little bitsy little statue you fuzzballs have there! I think that will be a good first target! I always like to make my grand entrance, right, my dear? Ooh, you look perfect for devastation. <laughs> mm, yummy! That little furball cat hero is still around. Getting away that easily, kitty cat! My dear little furry feline, you won't be using that same soda attack on me again! Let's rock and roll! Thank you for being such a nicely pretty little clearing area for me. Now I can just swoop down in a beautiful dive and grab you. Oh my, and Mr. B will be so happy that I'm bringing that tacky kitty present so quickly. Watch out, Striker! Don't worry, I know how to handle this.
Now, where did that tick hat creature go? Oh dear, you're gonna make me break out in a sweat, aren't you? It's okay. The fabric of my shirt keeps my body temperature cool and makes me look beautiful at the same time. Ah, there you are. Don't move, little kitty cat. Much fun! <laughs> Better than the Fall Paris Fashion Collections 2005. I bought a nice little sweater for you. <laughs> now let's see if you can follow me in here. Kitty, kitty, poo. Where do you think you're going, dearie? Goodness me. Wait, wait, slow down. It's too tight in here. Wait, wait. Darling, I knew we could baby beautifully, darling, beautifully. Oh, you're not getting away, you tacky cat. Mr. B's gonna be so proud of me. No one else but me. Oh, Mr. B will look just at me. No one else but me, me, me. Only me. What's that? Too easy. No! Where did that come from? May! Where did that come from? I don't know. I don't know. It's not coming up on the radar. Sneaky! It flew under our radar. It must have been moving at a stealth mode. Sneaky, sneaky. It's not very big, so it can hide undetected. This is a trap, Striker! A trap! Striker! <sighs> Too easy. You're right, Striker. Too easy. Who are you? Just a boy, Striker. Just a boy.
<laughs> Too easy. Where is it? <laughs> 